Hey Savant Squad, what is happening? Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at The Savant Life and also search for my page on Facebook and give it a big old thumbs up. The Savant Life reporting back on duty from his Yamaha FZ. When life gives you lemons, spread them on the street and then collect them back and make lemonade with it, people. Anywho, what is happening? I just wanted to make a random vlog let me put the visor down. I just wanted to make a random vlog riding around the beautiful, green, windy, cold streets of Bangalore. And because it's been a really long time since I did one of these random generic vlogs wherein I have no agenda apart from just doing this, baby, doing this. It feels pretty good. Just look at how beautiful, just look at how beautiful this area is. That's why I love being a Bangalorean. I mean, there are times that it gets to me, make no mistake about it, when you're stuck in Marathali traffic or Whitefield traffic. That's not fun for anybody, but overall, on Sunday mornings like these, when it's 7.30 in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning, and you don't have a care in the world, and that, I believe, is a new mall that has come up. It's called Vega City, and they've got H&M, they've got Only, they've got, uh, what else do they have? They have Toys R Us. I thought Toys R Us had shut down, but apparently not. And I'm just being such a law-abiding citizen over here because I'm waiting for that signal to turn green even though I have to go left and I can just pretty much go right now if I wanted to. But then I'm setting an example over here so that all of you hopefully can be inspired by this and uh, follow suit as well. And it's green. And before you give me shit, let me put the visor down again. Before you give me shit for uh, not having rearview mirrors, let me explain what happened. So I've had rearview mirrors for the longest time. In fact, I bought these really cool looking Rizoma mirrors from AliExpress. And uh, so many people were asking me, where did I get them from? They look really nice. And you know, give me the link, bro, and all of that. And I felt really, really good about myself, right? The fact that I had good taste in mirrors, the fact that I got them from AliExpress, everything was going so smooth. But then, this is India. You've got to realize, when you have something that looks very different from what people typically see, people are attracted by it, and then they know they can't find this in India anywhere else, in any of the regular shops. So then they say, you know what, it's just a bike. Nobody is looking. Let me try and see if I can steal these damn things. So one fine day, I come back home from work, and uh, as most of you would know by now, I don't typically use my bike to go to office, I drive down. So my bike gets used maybe about two or three times in a month at the most. So anyway, I come back from work and I look at my bike and all of a sudden what I realize is somebody had tried to flick those mirrors by trying to pull them out and then realized it was not happening and uh, they just scooted. So one mirror was bent all the way over there and the other mirror was bent all the way to that side. They tried really hard to kind of, you know, pull it and twist it out, but unfortunately for them, it didn't work. So I basically decided to remove the mirrors for a few days so that they don't try the stunt again. And uh, my plan is, I'm wondering, I'm thinking, should I take the risk of trying to fix them back again only for someone to try and steal them all over again or if I should maybe go in for a different uh, set of mirrors, mirrors which are more modest and which people won't be inclined to flick as and when the fancy strikes them. So I still haven't made up my mind about that and uh, I'm kind of sitting on the fence. However, I'll have to decide pretty soon, especially when I'm doing slightly longer rides because I think having mirrors is uh, fairly important at the end of the day. But for right now inside the city when I'm doing really, really short rides, uh, I'm making it work without the mirrors. But anyway, what else is happening, people? It's been a very long time since I just made a random vlog like this, trying to talk to you guys, just having a freewheeling conversation. Tell me what is happening. My bike is really, really dirty right now, but uh, yeah, give me some suggestions. Give me some, uh, you know, give me some updates about your lives. What are you wonderful people up to? Yeah, so I have a few subscribers uh, who keep commenting on pretty much all of my videos. They watch everything that I put out. And uh, I'd like to hear from them. 
the Savant squad as I call them. I remember pretty much their, their user ID names and their profile pictures and all of that. So go ahead and give me a shout out in the comment section below. Let me know what is happening in your life, what you're up to. It doesn't even have to be motorbike related. Just sound off. Let me know what you're up to, what you're doing, any vacation plans, whatever else. I just want to talk. By the way, I was just wondering, how many of you guys actually watch the UFC? Now, for those of you who don't know what the UFC is, it's the Ultimate Fighting Championship and it's the premier organization for mixed martial arts. Now, people keep confusing MMA with UFC all the time. Uh, MMA is actually the sport. Like, cricket is a sport. MMA or mixed martial arts is a sport. The UFC is like the IPL. It's a league. It's the biggest league. It's the most premier league. And uh, that's where all of the best fighters in the world are. Well, more or less. And uh, I know that it's kind of taken off in India big time over the last uh, three or four years. I've been watching this all the way from 2011, so I've been a long time MMA and UFC fan. But I noticed that ever since Sony started... Uh... Look at that guy. I would have had to try some MMA moves on that fella. But anyways, like I was saying, ever since the... The Sony guys started showing UFC. It's taken off big time in India. And uh, I think a certain Conor McGregor has definitely had a thing or two to do with that. I was astounded to know that the Facebook page of UFC India alone has some six or seven million followers. That was mind blowing. I could not believe that six to seven million people in India actually watch the UFC. So uh, let me know in the comment section below if you watch the UFC and uh, if you do, who's your favorite fighter? Which fight are you looking forward to the most in the coming two or three months? It would be, it would be good to talk to a few fellow UFC fans for sure. Because I just want to validate that there are these 7 million or 8 million people who like the UFC on Facebook. They're real. Because if they're real, I'm sure there would be enough people watching this video also who would be UFC fans. But yeah, apart from that, this is a pretty big year for motorbikes, huh? I think finally, BMW is going to make its foray in the mid-segment bikes, or for them, you can pretty much call it the starting segment bikes in the form of the BMW G310 and uh, the G310S, the Adventure Tourer, is that what it's called? I think something like that. So yeah, apart from that, which, which bike are you looking forward to the most? Oh, there's a KTM RC390 without any of the stickering. Looks a little weird. But you know what does look good on a KTM RC? If you just paint everything black and not matte black, but glossy black, it looks really, really cool. There's a guy in Kerala. Uh, I forget his Instagram handle, but it's something like Nandu Big B or something like that. I'll link it up in the description below. And he's got an all black KTM RC390 and that bike looks like an absolute bomb. Looks amazing. So, if you're into that sort of thing, then go ahead and show that fellow some love. But uh, for right now, I think I'm gonna wrap this conversation up. It's been good talking to you guys. And let's make it a two-way conversation in the comment section below. But uh, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Take care, ride safe, be good, and as always, have fun.